September 20th, 1984, The Cosby Show made its debut on NBC. And look, I, I don't have enough time in the day to really talk about this, but it, I just felt it was right that we have to pay homage to it because this show just meant so much to so many, right? I'm not talking about just black kids. I'm talking about white kids as well. This show was, everybody watched this show. This show was such a lovely, a lovely show, man. So many great moments. You know, the Gordon Cottrell episode. I mean, for me, one of my favorites is probably when they were serenading the grandparents and they were singing a, a Ray Charles song and they were dancing on the steps. I mean, Vanessa getting in trouble for going out in the town. I mean, just everything about this show, man, the lessons that they were teaching, you know, incorporating African-American and African culture into the show, which of course probably educated some of the Caucasian viewers. I mean, the show meant everything, you know, a black family that was kind of upper middle class. They were successful. Mom was a lawyer. Dad was a doctor. It was a little bit different than what we saw before in years past. Like you look at a show like Good Times where, you know, they kind of struggled a lot. You know, this show kind of really was the, the launcher path for other shows like a 227, Amen, and then of course the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air where black families were depicted in a better light. I mean, just, just a great show, right? You know, six Emmys, two Golden Globes during his run, number one in the Nielsen ratings for five straight years. Bill Cosby was voted America's number one dad out of all the sitcom dads. And, you know, like the greatest show of the 80s. And, and I know now it's such a dark cloud hanging over this show because of what he was accused of, right? And we, we cannot ignore that, right? I'm not... I'm not sitting there ignoring that, man. But I think in some instances, you can kind of separate the man and the art. And I think everybody else, like the Tempest Bledsoe, Malcolm Jamal Warner, Lisa Bonet, Felicia Rashad, you know, Rudy, Keisha Knight put it. She's always going to be Rudy to me, right? Like, they, they, they shouldn't be... They shouldn't be diminished, but you know, because of what he did. Their work shouldn't be looked upon and saying, no, nah, we don't like this show anymore. The show is a, a treasure, an American treasure. It should be paid homage to as much as we can. I mean, I love it. I'm sure many of you guys loved it. And so that's why I'm taking that time out to talk about the Cosby Show's 39th anniversary. So with all that being said, what's your favorite memory from the Cosby Show? Let me know.